Buenos dias and happy Sunday, y'all. So, it is a beautiful Indiana morning. That is the sun coming up. I don't know if it's giving it the justice that it deserves through a, a phone. <laughs> um, but it's gorgeous. It's a little chilly. It's in the 60s. Um, it's, it's about 7 a.m. So, I'm really excited because I left Facebook. And at first, you know, I... I was hesitant to leave, but after a few incidences that have occurred, and, and it had given me so much anxiety, um, I ended up praying about it. Like, because I always periodically I would pray about, can I just leave Facebook now? I don't want to. I don't want to preach on Facebook because for me, Facebook is like it's like Nineveh, <laughs> you know, the great city that Jonah didn't want to go and preach. <laughs> Preaching. Um, not that I'm a prophet or anything, but we're supposed to liken the scriptures to ourselves, right? And so anytime he told me to go into Nineveh, <laughs> into Facebook, I'm like, mm, you know, I just really would rather spend three days in, in the belly of a great fish. I, I'm totally fine with that. Can we just do that instead? <laughs> Isolation, um, away from everybody, because I'm an introvert. So I'm like, yeah, sign me up for that. I will do that. I'll, I'll pay that price. Um, <laughs> Anyway, so, and I don't want to go into the whole dramatics of, of what happened on Facebook because there are a, a few things that happened on Facebook, but it was, it was so horrible guys that it was my anxiety being on Facebook and having these things happen to me of being flagged for hate speech twice. Um, it, it actually was physically making me sick because, because I have anxiety and I, and I'm so hard on myself and I just get so worked up. Ah, I get so worked up for probably silly things that people would be like, well, that's stupid and it wouldn't bother them. But for me, like it bothers me. It bothers me. And I, and I worry about, am I being a true Christian? Am I being that representative that I need to be? So I ended up praying again. Okay. Can I leave none of now? Can I? Can I go? Have I done my work? Because I'll pray pray about that periodically, right? And this time, you know, he usually, well, he's always said, not yet, Beth, not yet. But this time he said yes. And I was like, are you sure? And at first I felt like a failure. Like, am I letting him down by leaving? By even praying to ask if I can leave? Is that a letdown? Is that, am I failing? Because I don't want to be a failure. I don't want to fail my Heavenly Father. You know, I, I don't want to be so prideful in my weaknesses that I that I miss opportunities to share what I'm supposed to share. Whatever He wants me to share. Even though even though it's hard for me to share. Um and He was and He was so so merciful. Actually, there's a scripture. Let me get it out because I was like, oh, I don't know if I can memorize this. So I wrote it down. For I knew that thou art a gracious God and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. And that's what I'm feeling right now, that he is this gracious, merciful God, slow to anger and with just this great kindness. And he knew, he knew that I wanted to leave and I've been wanting to leave for so long, but he also knew that I didn't want to let him down. You know, that I wanted to fulfill my purpose that, on social media, whatever purpose that was. And he told me yes. He was like, yes, it's 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 time to go. You know, sometimes the Lord commands us to do things that we don't want to do. And maybe six months from now or a year from now, he'll ask me to go back. But for right now, I don't I don't have to go back. All right, guys, have a wonderful week. And know that God loves you and he he appreciates the efforts that you make in your life. I know that. And he is merciful and he is kind. And I know that too. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.